perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy. He is very potent with such spirits. Abuse it me, damn me. I will have ground to hold as the miller. This sale is about Sir John Gilbert, who I should think many people would consider the greatest actor in the last century, ranking along with Laurence Olivier and Sir Ralph Richardson, three titans of the stage. He died last year at the age of 96, and he lived in Buckinghamshire in a wonderful house called South Pavilion, which was part of a larger house. And it was a, a large house, but the central feature of it was one enormous room within which most of his collection was displayed. quite an urban man, even though this was a country house. You look at this and you'd say this is more of a, a London collection. These are small objects that relate well to each other. These aren't sort of large oak pieces of furniture. There's a lot of gilt, there's a lot of frill, and a lot of decorative objects. And there are also a lot of visual jokes, pictures that meant something to him and related to places that he'd been or to friends that he knew. We've had a lot of visitors from the theatrical world. We've had actors, we've had directors, we've had producers, we've had people who've worked with Sir John and friends of his. And many of them have come and said they'd like to have a memento to, to remember him by. And I think they'll be competing against a new generation of collectors, people who know him from the films, but perhaps didn't see him in his heyday on the theatre stage, but nevertheless understand that the value of, of an item connected with him will appreciate over time. And then you will have people who simply say, oh, that's a beautiful pot, you know, that I want for my house, that it belonged to Sir John was perhaps incidental. And those people, we hope, will all be competing together on Thursday to raise the maximum for the charities that Sir John supported.